Now, forget unicorns. That trend has passed. It is done. Do not tell Holly, she'll be devastated. Oh, this year, it's all about alpacas, who are featuring more and more in people's wedding photographs. We've got Chris Deacon from Charmwood Forest Alpacas, who regularly hires his animals out for weddings, and he has been inundated with requests. Join us alongside his partner, Laura, and two of these beautiful beasts. We have Lulu Bell and Ring the Changes. Chris, Laura, lovely to see you this lovely morning. Lovely to see you. I mean, this is exactly the perfect kind of weather and scenario that people would want for their weddings. Absolutely perfect. Yeah. Perfect for a wedding. Now, why alpacas? Because I'm planning to get married soon, and I can be honest with you, I'd never thought about alpacas at our wedding. But so, today... But, I mean, the fascinator on Lulu Bell, it's sort of... <laughs> It's making me feel inspired. But why is, what is it about alpacas? I think, I think there's a number of things. When I first got involved seven or eight years ago, we were um, developing the business as bloodstock breeders to sell the animals. And then as farmers, on the back of that, we need to diversify and find other things. So we get involved with um, some therapy work with special needs children with the animals. And we do lots of walks with alpacas on the farm. And we do adoptions. And then with the advent of TP weddings and farm rustic type things, mm -hmm. um, the, the alpacas were a, a natural addition for the particularly the brides. <laughs> oh, I bet they absolutely steal the show. Can I have a little Especially stream? when yeah. they've had a perfect yeah. trim for the occasion. Like but tell, I mean, tell us, Chris, because I mean, obviously it is about the animals' welfare and you, you obviously make sure you look after them and make sure that the guests okay. do as well. <laughs> but what do your packages or your, what do you specially call them? Al packages. Al packages. Of course, yes. packages. Of course packages. they do. What, what does that involve? What can you, if you, they sign up for your alpacas, what can okay. they have at their wedding? Well, I think you can start off with something very straightforward, which is just a couple of alpacas and, an, and a handler and, and some feed, and we'll go around after your ceremony as you come out, and we're there, um, and it just brings all the guests to life in that sort of lull period straight after Brilliant. the ceremony. And lots of selfies, lots of walks around, lots of feeding. Uh -huh. um, it's great. From a welfare perspective, um, the alpacas are very, very very calm, very, very relaxed animals. Um, and we've got 150 on the farm, so we make sure that their general welfare and travelling out is, is all well within what would be expected. So what do, what do they eat then? Um, in terms of eating, as a general rule, there are lots of grass and they'll have lots of hay because they're semi-ruminants. They've got three tummies, so they need to get the fibre through. And then we've got a product here which is uh, tastes nice to them, but it's actually got extra minerals in the, that they're lacking in our ground, like selenium, zinc and yeah. potassium. Should we, we have, have a, a little, little yeah. look and a little we, feed? We would love to have a feed. Yeah. I mean, Laura, they're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Just I mean, you're, your you're lucky enough to work with these yeah. every, every day. But what is it like when, <gasps> when the families, when the wedding guests meet them? What, what, what's it like when they're hanging around yeah. with these? Yeah. Oh, and wow, and oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. yes. And they're great with kids as well, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, they are. I mean, this one's these hungry. ones are a year old, so they're kind of good kid height. Um, but alpacas don't go over this height anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, oh, they're nowhere here. Like them. Oh, hello! Really hello, really Ring the Changes. To eat. Yeah. I've never seen them with such a wonderful little haircut either. <laughs> they are like at their very best. That, this is oh, a week, a week L long. Lulu Bell's whining. Yeah, <laughs> Lulu Bell. Oh my. No, it's your turn now. No, no, wait there. No, no, it's and all this one's sharing. Foxy, yeah. Sharing. <laughs> Share. There's a very <laughs> unique. Um, sensation of an alpaca licking your hand. Isn't it? I'd <laughs> say you sort of have to have it first-hand experience, really. Oh, I can't quite describe it. And you're after my bracelet. Oh, um, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you are hungry, little devil, aren't I'm, you? I'm hoping this is one of Auntie's bloomers kind of things after this. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, Tell us, what, what is, why was it the boom? Why was it the alpacas? I mean, we <gasps> joked about unicorns, but what is it that... When did, when did the, uh, the sensation, the alpacas are thought of the wedding guests? Because you've got this booked out for the next couple of years to come, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. we're, we're book taking bookings now into 2020. Um, and I think it's, it's quite honestly, there's a massive cute factor involved, yeah. uh, particularly with the wakayas. Um, and that does it for people in the main. And it's just so different. And if you're having a slightly twist, in a, get married in a teepee, Having these guys there just follows it right through. Wow, inspiration for me. Stuff. Do you know what? Just be careful that when you do get married and you've got your new wedding band on, don't feed them <laughs> with your wedding ring, because for a minute I thought, that's that gone. Trying to chomp that off as well, weren't <laughs> you? <laughs> They're like, absolutely, so hungry. absolutely gorgeous. Really beautiful. Thank you, you two, Thank for coming you in. Thank you.